Hello, sweet friends, and welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. Today's video features the fringed butterflies, small and large dies from Scrap Diva Designs, and I'm going to have a tutorial on how I put mine together. Butterflies are absolutely stunning for any of your projects. These can be used on cards. Uh, you could use this in your junk journal as an embellishment. How beautiful would that be? And on boxes, any kind of project, these are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to show you the dies that I used. And uh, it's this one right here. This one is the Fringe Butterfly Small, which is this right here. How pretty is that, right? gorgeous and then I use the fringe butterfly large and I will show you that I'll show you the pieces as we go along with the tutorial I will leave an affiliate link in the description box below to make it easy for you to shop you can also use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your order I appreciate you using my affiliate links it helps my channel and I thank you all for using that. Before I get started with showing you the project and the tutorial, let me just say if you are new or this is your first time here, my videos feature lots of paper crafting ideas and tutorials. If this is something you enjoy, won't you consider subscribing? I'd love to have you back. And to all my returning friends and subscribers, welcome back. You mean the world to me, and I appreciate your support and comments. So this, again, like I said, is the small butterfly. The flower here is uh, this die from Scrap Diva Designs. I think it's called the Rose Petal die. I will also leave this um, in the description box below. And I do have a tutorial on that one. Uh, this is one of my favorite flowers to uh, create and use on my projects. Now, the butterfly has three layers, as you can see. And if you flip up the little uh, fringe, you will get more 3D uh, motion looking to your butterflies. I just love butterflies. I remember a long time ago, <laughs> yeah, it is a long time ago, um, I used to enjoy uh, backpacking in the mountains and used to go to the White Mountains in New Hampshire. And at one time that I went there, uh, was riding along the Kangamangas Highway and stopped to see the beautiful scenery and went down to the, uh, it's the Kangamangas River there. And I went down to the river, and on the banks of the river, there was a Marnock butterfly hatch. There was hundreds of butterflies on the uh, sandy bank, and I had taken pictures of them. And I, I never forgot that because it was so beautiful with all the orange and yellow uh, butterflies just sitting on the bank there. It was something that I had never seen before. So that's an it for my story. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put one of these together. Now we're gonna do the large one. And you get a base die. And let me show that to you. So your base die is this. So you're gonna cut one of those. And then you get a large fringed one and you get a medium fringed and then you get these two fringed. You also get a layering piece for the body. So I did not layer mine because mine is covered with a rose so I cut just the one with the antenna. So here are my pieces. And we are going to turn this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I cut my base piece on this because the top will show on this butterfly. So we're going to start with the small 
the smaller pieces, which was the last one that I showed you, was this, and we're going to attach this to the butterfly. So you're only going to put some glue. I had double-sided paper. So what this is this is good for when you're making fringed uh, butterflies is, as you can see, I use all my little um, leftover pieces of paper that I don't throw out. They're perfect for that. So I had some double-sided from the last project, I guess I did. And so we're going to put some glue on there. Just on the top. You don't need much. Just a little line. And then you're going to line it up on the bottom. And pick some coordinating designer paper to give your butterflies a lot of character. Okay, and then we have a large piece here and a medium piece. We are going to do the medium uh, next. And we're going to cut it. So I'm going to go with start cutting. You see this right here? This is the piece I use as my guideline. And I cut right across here. And I aim for this side to go right to this piece over here. And it cuts it straight if you use that as your guideline. That one right there. So this is ready. So we're going to put a little bit of glue along the top here. Because remember, this is a fringe. So we want some freedom and movement in the fringe. Now it will line up right with the bottom of the top wing. Just like that. All right, and next we're going to do the last piece, which is the full piece, and we are going to cut this off right from here to there. So I'm just going to cut right across. And then I am going to put a little bit of glue in the middle right there because I want that piece where I'm going to put the body to stick down and I'm going across the top. Then we're going to line it up and it goes all the way, it fits all the way to the top right here. And then I'm just gonna push this down and then you can pull up, oops, you can pull up on your fringe a little bit to give it some movement. All right, we're gonna get this out of the way. And uh, I need my little, here it is. This is the little body. He's gonna go on the center there. And it lines up, the head lines up with the top right here, as you can see, and goes right to the bottom there. And at this point, if I want my butterfly to, uh, as you can see, I have curved it right there. So that's what I would do here. And you can use your bone folder or you can just use your fingers to move your butterfly so that your wings look like they have movement. All right, and the last thing that we do is we are going to put the flower and somehow I lost my little um, leaves. I'm not going to do the flower yet. I'm going to put some pearls. As you can see here, I have some pearls because I decorated my butterfly. And I'm going to put it right on the top of this fringed piece. You don't have to do this, but I think it gives you a nice uh, little embellishment on your butterfly. All right, 
I'm going to go back on this side. And I'll give it a little squeeze to the center. All right, and I don't have my leaves. I don't know where my leaves went. They're probably under this uh, mat here. So anyway, the next thing you would do would be to uh, glue your little leaves. If you have leaves in your stash that you want to cut and uh, put them on your uh, little flower and then glue it right to the middle there. Cute, right? sweet little butterfly that you can use on so many different things. So I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this is the fringed butterfly large. This is the fringed butterfly small. And thank you so much for joining me. Remember to sprinkle kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye-bye.